Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10 C and we have a brand new teaser, some new footage uh, for the extra six episodes. Um, this is really awesome. I know when the month started, um, well a little bit like it was last month really, but this month they've been doing a lot of marketing for these extra six episodes. Um, like almost every single day there's something, <laughs> you know, uh, but it's really cool, I, you know, for us Walking Dead fans, um, the show is returning in just a couple of weeks, um, very, very excited for it, um, you know, these extra six episodes look really good, so I can't wait to check it out, um, obviously we'll be having videos, um, you know, leading up to the show, and then also once the show returns, you know, we'll be doing, you know, our usual breakdowns, reviews, all that kind of stuff, uh, looking at the trailers each and every single week. So if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like, you can hit that notification bell right next to it. Um, and every time we make a video, uh, you should get you know a notification. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, other than that, obviously general spoiler warning in case you aren't caught up or anything like that. But let's get into the trailer. All right, so we start this off with Aaron and Gabriel. Uh, they are in this field. Uh, remember, this is the field uh, that they are going to get surrounded by walkers in just like a second. Uh, but they come across these uh, walkers um, or, you know, we don't know if, if they were walkers or humans or what. But somebody burned some, um, some people here. Uh, you know, they could have been uh, people that got bit or walkers. I think this is probably in connection with Maze and his. I don't know if Maze has people with him because we we're only seeing Maze um, in the teasers. Uh, but I think that might be in connection with him. I mean, who else would it be, right? I mean, it could be, you know, there could be another group out there lingering. Uh, but I think it's uh, it's probably, uh, you know, Maze. There's also a voiceover from Aaron and Gabriel here. Um, Gabriel says, you really think uh, things are going to go back to the way they were. And Aaron says, it has to. So when Aaron says it has to, that kind of caught me off guard. Because, like, does Aaron really think that? But then I remember... Um, which we'll talk about that in a second, because I do think it's possible, especially with the CRM stuff. I mean, that could be a whole other, you know, conversation. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it. But if you watch the video, the trailer, um, the voiceover, Aaron sounds a bit drunk. And I think they are going to be getting drunk because I remember in the table read, they were talking about drinking. And then even in the trailer, they were drinking. And he kind of sounds drunk when he's saying it. So this could, I mean, I think you're going to also be spending the night um, at the the warehouse when they're scavenging or whatever and they were drinking in the trailer so to me um i think this is probably like a conversation they're having uh just you know because they're bored or whatever but you guys let me know what you think about that like do you think uh the walking dead world will go back to normal i think it's possible with the crm introduced but um and then moving along we have some crm stuff uh, we see the group here surrounded by CRM members. You can see the CRM people with the suits. Uh, pretty much how it left off at the end of season 10. Um, so this is this is going to be like the episode. I'm sure they're all going to include things that, you know, move the plot into season 11. But I think this episode, this Commonwealth episode, is heavily going to move the plot into season 11. Um, you can sh uh, see the, the, the two people grab a princess and throw it inside of this uh, cart. Um, and they're all in like separate containers. So um, I I'm assuming you're going to go to the same place. But I think that this Commonwealth really came prepared uh, because they probably were expecting more people. Next, we have this. Um, so it says The Walking Dead is back here uh, with Gabriel. It doesn't say that in the original shot, obviously. There was something else on the... Um, on the roof of it the original thing is save us that's what somebody wrote up there uh so that was kind of cool that they put the walking dead is back uh we have some more stuff from gabriel he's saying uh, the world isn't built for the way we used to be um this was something he's saying later we don't get a response so i don't know if this is something he's saying to aaron or um or Maeve. But the reason I bring up Maze is because he's going to be questioning Gabriel. And him and Gabriel, there's going to be a lot of tension there. Um, because I remember in the table read when they introduced Maze, he was just questioning Gabriel on him being a priest and helping people and stuff like that. So, um, you know, he could, I think Gabriel might be talking about his change here. Like, they have to change because the world isn't built for the way they used to be. We have a shot of Dog here running. Uh, we have Carol and Daryl on the bike. Uh, we have this scene, which is really cool. We have Negan. Um, uh, this is when Negan and Maggie meet. And Maggie just sort of like walks right past them. You can see it right here. 
uh, there's a the she I mean, Judith is also there. Um, and remember, Negan saved Judith, so I don't. I mean, I wonder how that's gonna come into play with this whole situation. Like, is Maggie even gonna care? I, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I don't think Maggie's gonna care. But Judith was spending time with Negan, uh, and like I just said, uh, Negan saved her. So we'll see if that'll be interesting to see if Judith vouches for Negan and says stuff to Maggie about um, being okay with Negan. Again, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon um, or that quickly. But this is something, this dynamic between those two, Negan and Maggie, is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, this is going to be really interesting to see. And to see, like, you know, continuing on with this show. Um, like, are they ever going to be okay? Is Negan just going to go his own separate way? You guys let me know what you think. Next, we have some more Commonwealth stuff. We have Ezekiel talking to Princess. And he's saying, we need a plan. We can't trust these people. So this is interesting because... Um, in the last trailer they released, like the main trailer they released, remember we had that image of the group with bags over their head, and Princess was the only one that didn't have a bag. And ever since then, you know, we've been questioning her. A lot of people have been questioning her and, you know, saying, is Princess hiding something? And based on this dialogue, maybe she is trying to convince the group to trust the Commonwealth. And that's why Ezekiel is saying that we cannot, we can't trust these people. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case because... Yeah, after that scene, that was a weird scene because she didn't have a bag over her head. Everyone else did. Unless they made that scene or they cut that scene to trick us and they actually are going to put a bag over her head or whatever. Um, you know, that would be something that could possibly be happening. And then moving along, we have this scene. Uh, it looks like there's some sort of like action scene or something. Uh, Princess is like running. Um, it goes by real quick. And she actually has a, f a bruise on her forehead, if you can see that. And earlier, the Commonwealth, they like threw her inside of the container. So they were, you know, kind of rough. So it's not like that easy to, you know, I'm not that confident in saying that, yeah, you know, she knows the Commonwealth or she doesn't or she's working for them or not. Uh, but that is something in question. Next, we have that scene of the explosion near Maggie. Um, it kind of looks like she knows this explosion is coming. So I'm not sure if they're setting it off, like they're trying to get into somewhere or something. Uh, but she just like, you know, because of the way she's stand, like she's kneeling, she has her hand to her ears. Like, I feel like she was expecting this. So we'll see what that is. We said that earlier as well. Um, we have this scene of Carol. It looks like she is scavenging also. They might be doing a lot of scavenging in these episodes um, because of now that the common or excuse me, now that the whispers are done with. You know, they have to rebuild. We also get some dialogue between Carol and Daryl in a second. Um, so we see Daryl here, uh, he's by himself, new episodes, um, but yeah, Daryl's by himself, he's looking for Rick, he's doing his own thing, now that the, that the whispers are done with, I'm sure he'll be back around when the Commonwealth, you know, come, or when he finds out about the Commonwealth, uh, but then we have this scene between Carol and Daryl, and Daryl just wants to be alone, um, like Carol says, I don't want to lose you out here. And Daryl says, I know where I'm supposed to be. So Daryl's arc in these extra six episodes is definitely interesting because it, there seems to be something that ticks him off. Or I think it could just be the fact that he was done, like he's done dealing with the whispers. So he's just going back to looking for Rick. Because remember, he said he never found a body. So he could just be going back to that, you know. Um, it also could just be the drama back home with uh, Negan and Maggie. And on top of that, you know, him remembering Rick, that could just send him off to his journey, um, which, hey, I love it. You know, <laughs> I want to see Rick. I want to see Daryl search for Rick because that's a character who I've been waiting for to find out something about Rick. I, th I think it'll happen eventually. You know, it doesn't have to happen in these extra six episodes, but I think it'll happen in season 11 at least. Um, he is getting a spinoff, so, you know, maybe that ties into it, but... I'm excited for this arc of his uh, searching for uh, Rick again. Next, we have that scene of Negan building Lucille. So this is from the Here's Negan episode. That's going to be a really cool scene. Uh, and then we have a scene of Herschel Jr. Uh, sleeping on a Maggie's lap. And he, uh, Maggie is talking to Daryl. Um, and this is that scene where she said that uh, he asked how his daddy died. I told him a bad man killed him. So... You can see that it's probably impossible for Maggie to, you know, really... Oh, I wouldn't say impossible, but I, it's very difficult, you know, I think, f uh, to see Maggie forgiving Negan. And uh, I, I think it's probably just going to be a case where 
they just work together or they deal with each other but you know they're not gonna be friends or anything like that you guys let me know what you think about that like do you think do you think like negan will apologize and maggie will accept or do you think they're just gonna you know go their separate ways and just you know deal with it that way um I think they're going to go their separate ways, but you guys let me know what you think. And then when she says that uh, he was killed by a bad man, uh, we cut to that scene of uh, Negan with a classic look sitting on his chair. So this is that, again, that flashback scene of, uh, or that flashback episode of Here's Negan. And we already know that in these episodes, Negan is going to go on his own, um, his own little journey. So that's probably because of all the tension back, um, back home in Alexandria and stuff like that. But... Yeah, this Negan and Maggie uh, dynamic is something I'm looking forward to. You guys let me know what you think about all this. Um, really cool little teaser. The show is returning uh, pretty soon. I'm very excited about it. That was the teaser, so I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Uh, what are you most excited for? What do you think is going to happen in these episodes? Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. And again, for more Walking Dead videos, just be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Please take care, and I'll see you guys soon.